Hey, what's up, everyone? Sorry. Uh, if you're just getting situated, if you don't have a Wikipedia account yet, you can click the link that we just put in the chat and you can make one. That'd be great if you could all do that while we're waiting for other people to show up and we can then help anyone who encounters a problem or anything. Yeah. Do most people have most people already created a Wikipedia? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. I just want to make sure that I'm in English Wikipedia. Do you know where I can check that? Yeah. The, 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 um, the link should say en.wikipedia.org. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, that's a tricky one. Hi, Alice. Welcome. <laughs> hey, it's so good to see y'all. <laughs> Yeah. About this. I really love the survey that you sent. Yeah, me too. Oh, cool. I'm glad you enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah. Brandon wrote all those questions. I like them too. It's like, oh, it's been a while and I have been asked these hard questions. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I was like, wow, am I really going to just take a second to go to my sketchbook and draw out how I want the world to look like? And I'm like, well, Maybe I should, and then it's enlightening, like reflective of an exercise. <laughs> Hi, welcome back, Michelle. Danny, just out of curiosity, are we expecting some other people that or should we think this is the unfortunate difficulty of doing free things on the internet that's fine that's fine just curious then um, I think maybe... sorry i was just gonna say i think you know there might be a couple more filing in but we should just anticipate a small group today cool. okay that then works. we can just get started yeah we have another website to share with you, as if one wasn't enough. Uh, let me put it in here. It's this. Guys, I just found out I I did make a Wikipedia account four years ago. I had no idea. Amazing. Congrats. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I try. I, I have no. Can, can you track back your contribution? Yeah, if you go to your page, there's like a talk page, and there should be a little tab that says contributions that should let you see everything you've edited. Should be there. You also probably have a talk page that's now full of a bunch of junk. Like Wikipedia finds your page and then puts like stickers uh, and stuff all over it all the time, and you have to delete it if you don't want to see it. Whatever. Yeah, people have a lot to see. We've uh, shared a link in the chat, which is to a website, a kind of homepage, a digital, digital home base that we've set up for today. It is uh, called a dashboard, and it's run by the Wikimedia Foundation. You should embed it in the link. There should be a code to enroll in this thing, and this is what we're going to use to do some data recording of all of the stuff that we edit today and in over the like homework assignment between now and Friday. So yeah, if everyone could follow that link, we see people starting to already register and stuff. Yeah. If anyone has any problems, let us know. But it'd be cool if everyone could jump on there. So yeah, just become a member of the program. The program is kind of the editathon we're going to be doing, and then it's going to um, gather all of your edits, just compile them so that we have stats about what we're doing together. Present now. Just um, it's, it's asking for a passcode to join the group, join the program. Passcode is satrab2020. Well, let's see if that's a lie. Uh, I think no, that works. Yeah, it should be. If it's case sensitive, then I've told you the wrong password. Okay. Password. I did. I did it lowercase. Just. Oh, cool. Okay. So that's the password. We've shared our screen just so we can show you in case you're uh, lost something. 
here's the passcode. This is what the page should look like. We've got some editors like showing up, which is cool. Do you want to refresh it? Maybe we have more now. <laughs> okay, refresh. No, oh, no, not just yet. Keep working, guys. We want you to join. <laughs> but yeah, so there's a description of the event here. You have all the details combined on the right, right? Like whatever. Uh, House Round is our Wikipedia name because Round House was already taken. Um, when it is happening. No, that's actually, wait, that's not true. Oh, really? Our, our name was roundhouse and then they kicked us off because they said it was like a form of personal promotion to use the oh, same name go. as our organization there you go wow um, <laughs> campaigns that we've been part of all the even information about and so on and so forth but um as we'll be working together the article the edits and the words added will uh soon increase we now have seven editors already. Cool. Is that everyone? <laughs> That's like. That's uh, not everyone. There's Nick, like five people in addition to us. Where is uh, everyone? Nick, Nick, I saw you join late. I don't know if you have the link to the hey. to this. If it shows up in the chat. Welcome. Oops, that's not it. <laughs> okay. Ah, ah, ah. Maybe we we'll stop screen sharing first. Oh. Oh, yeah, cool. And Nick, in case you're missing it, password. Okay, sweet. Our life. This is okay. Cool. Okay, sweet. Awesome. Okay, we'll refresh one more time. It's kind of we now have. Eight editors growing fast, amazing. Okay, I think we like change layout. I'm sure this looks like a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. It's easier for us to see the screen and see your faces. So, this is what it's going to be. You guys all have the link to the website too, but we'll just go over the website really quickly. Um, the theme, we looked at your survey responses and we came up with a kind of theme for our, our way to. Uh, engage with Wikipedia, and that theme is common monuments. So Wikipedia has this uh, yearly international event called Wikipedia Loves Monuments, and it is probably exactly what you're picturing. It's like a campaign where um, people from all over the world are encouraged to edit, especially add photographs of um, sites of cult cultural heritage and significant value. So. It's like all of the big churches, it's like all of the big sculptures, it's like all of the big urban markers and plaques and commemorative history and stuff. Wikipedia and Wikimedia are trying to get more information about that. We found in the survey responses to the sharing form that people, especially now, all of you, you are engaging your environment in much, I don't know, in just a very different way, right? Like you have very intimate connections with everyday objects and everyday experiences. Things that used to be mundane seem to have this uh, overscaled um, importance now to everyone. And we thought that was kind of awesome, right? So all of these informal things becoming much more meaningful to everyone. That's what's leading us to this kind of common monuments idea. So that's the kind of nature of like just how we want to frame what we're going to do today. And that's the description of the themes. Anything to add on that? No, just thanks for filling yeah. the form. We were really uh, entertained with your answers. Uh, they were uh, surprising at time and just uh, really good overall. So thanks for putting uh, the, the time to reflect and actually like share um very creative answers yeah so i mean there's really actually cool. a ton of information so we thought we would just show instead of show all of the answers to everything maybe just look at the images and kind of go over some of the things that we saw so these are what the images look like in response to the first um question just like where you are in the universe now and i hope that this already starts to show or give a kind of visual index of this common monuments idea so we'll just kind of click through the pictures. I don't know if you have anything to add or if there's any questions about them, we can go over it. Jealous. 
Jealous. <laughs> <laughs> jealous. But yeah, I mean, people, we were super, yeah, super shocked. Jealous. Not only that people are everywhere, but the ways in which you have these images that distill your daily experiences are so varied from Alice's chickens to Anna's uh, like ofrenda that we saw, the monumental buildings, and then, you know, like the empty parking lots. The city and nature both play this, and suburbia all play like a role here in the ways that people are picturing and imaging their world. Okay, that's first category. Where's the modular hand? I don't who's I don't know who submitted this one. Is it? Oh, it's it was um. I think that was it. Yeah, there's was someone from Shandigar, right? Oh. Tarini Sharma answered from Shandigar. Kind oh, of amazing. cool. So that's those were some of the images of where people uh, say their universe is right now. Here were some, uh, I guess, images of like what people have liked from Satellite Lab. Maybe kind of conceptually where you're at or intellectually, like what you're thinking about and working on. These things too, we saw like a lot of these um, maps and food maps that maybe got made really recently. We also saw some 3D scans in here, but it, it you know, it's like the way that, again, the house plants and the chickens start to show and the stop signs start to show up are there, but everything's a little bit blurrier or fuzzier. And that's something everyone spoke about in what their kind of like um, experience has been with Satellite Lab is that it's opening up different ways to think about your personal space and consider architecture, not just as a thing you do in an architecture studio, but a, just a broader mindset for engaging the built environment, which is the inspiring to hear and see. And then um, the last area was the kind of zooming out in scale. We were like asking questions more about your city, its history, but also um, we left this space for speculations and imaginations about what your city could be. And here we saw like um, really amazing stuff from, I, I do think that like there was this kind of uh, sublime quality to all of the descriptions and images where everyone is kind of picturing a more beautiful, Future, but also one that's kind of stoked in like the terrifying experience that is now. So I think like the 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 role of like kind of that divide of the sublime of the beautiful and the terrifying seem to be really present everywhere. Like perfect example, the hidden cargo container and the totally starting to disappear trace of machinery, Danny's fences. Oh, double rainbow. Okay, cool. So yeah, those were some of the responses, all the other stuff, fantastic, but we probably won't go through it in order to keep Just it. like a quick comment on the oh, survey. Just like a quick comment on the survey. <laughs> oh, got terrible feedback. Uh-oh. Um, oh, we can mute ourselves for a second. I don't know, Wait. maybe, sorry. I just, I think it's so wonderful something as simple as a google survey or whatever google forms can have such a like well-rounded kind of conclusionary <laughs> feeling to it I, I mean i think this whole like lab has been questioning things that we don't know yet and there's something also about like for me wikipedia is falling into the same category in that we know Wikipedia, we know, you know, these these online tools like Google Forms and Google Docs and whatever. And it's just nice to sort of go back to some of the basics and see how much potential they actually have as well, which is cool. Sorry, just a quick thought. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, no, it's to, we totally agree with you. I think the real richness of the thing is obviously coming from the people, right? Like, so it's been really fascinating to connect with such a diverse group of people already, even just in the short conversation we had last time, and then these the chance to look at these survey responses. I think the other thing, since Alice is here, we'll like shout it out. A lot of this is coming out of some thinking we did for this um, virtual care lab that Alice co-organized with Sarah Suarez. And we have been wondering what the ways to kind of connect you know, with other people and connect with other people's perception of space that are a little bit more caring and invested. Um, so some of these questions have been 
forming in our mind and fomenting with us since we did that actually right at the beginning of the kind of lockdown and pandemic and you were kind of you know continuing to engage them now so thanks alice yeah thanks for, uh, <laughs> and yeah, thanks basically for developing like, those ideas yeah that's for you i think but cool Okay, unless there's other stuff on the form or the theme of common monuments, I think we'll just like jump into the next step. We're picturing like basically two other things for today. And the first one is a game. And the second one is a tutorial. But I think we can just play the game. Yeah, but maybe I just want to add like one little thought about the common monument thing. Or I think like Brendan came up with the idea and maybe I understand it slightly differently. But I think like maybe all of us will understand it slightly differently. And we just try finding this common thread in between all of your answers. And we thought that common monument was uh, interesting. Uh, and I really kind of think of it as an oxymoron, right? Common, like daily, uh, not exceptional. And then the monument is monumental, right? It's supposed to like narrate one specific moment in history or an exceptional figure. The monument is all about the exceptional and the common is about the daily not exceptional thing. So trying to see, um, yeah, trying to rethink what monumentality is through some of our daily experiences and your answer. So answers, but the, yeah, so we, we can go ahead and play the game. Do you want to introduce it? Yeah, sure. So game. Um... What we're hoping to do is basically start to understand how the topics everyone is interested in, like what you've answered in your survey forms, are actually like woven into the kind of information space of the internet, especially on Wikipedia. That's our tool at our disposal for today. So what we've done um, is assigned people a Wikipedia page that matches their survey responses. And what we'll do is start to kind of connect that page, like an intertextual link to a, some other page on the internet and see if we can start to discern something meaningful from those connections. So yeah, to just be like really um, blunt about it, we've given you one page that is um, matching with your interests and then we've given you a random page, something that is literally made by an algorithm. There's a random page function on Wikipedia. You click it, it gives a random page. We've so we've given you each two pages. The game that we would like to play is to ask you to use seven clicks or less all through Wikipedia to try to connect the two pages and store like really the links in between these two things. And once we've done that, thank you, Danny, for the idea. Who said he used to play this thing back in the past? <laughs> Maybe the layer that we will add is that we'll ask everyone to share those links that they've come up with. And we'll try to have a conversation about what are the most interesting links or what kind of information has been uncovered. So on the, the event page for today, the rules of the game are spelled out here under game, but yeah, it says you've got two articles. Um, you can find your articles through this link, the one that says articles. It will take you to this page here and it will say your name under articles one. It'll have your name and a page we've assigned you and then the random page. And then there will be a space for all of your links, right? So all of the intermediary pages that you're finding in between the origin and termination. So just maybe to give an example, let's say like we've assigned to you, so first we've assigned things based on the answers of your forms, but that's also obviously very much our perception of it. Yeah. So there's like, it's, you know, again, there's a space uh, created like a beginning of a conversation of something that we would think was matching what you, is on your mind. But obviously that's so what's on our minds since it's applied to you. But, and then let's say we've given you like dinosaurs and, and, and uh, the random page is chicken, right? So you go like dinosaurs or wait, well, that's kind of too close, but whatever. Dinosaurs, <laughs> you, you have eggs on the on the um, dinosaur page. So you go to the egg page, and then on the egg page, you have the chicken page, right? So, but imagine it's a little longer of a thread, right? Uh, but that's kind of what the game is. Yeah. But I don't think <laughs> we might not get there, right? In seven clicks, we might not get there. 
Uh, that's the challenge. So there's two challenges. The first one is to get there in seven clings to six or less. The second challenge is like we've set a criteria. We're not going to prioritize the shortest amount of links. We would actually prioritize the most interesting amount of links. So like Noemi's example, like to go dinosaur, dinosaur egg, chicken, not, not super interesting. But if you could go like <laughs> dinosaur feather, like uh, dawn jacket, jacket, clothing, yeah. chicken wearing clothing, chicken. Yeah, if you feather. could, and then like be able to tell us maybe, oh, this is interesting, like to think that there's fashion that is the uh, Kind of intermediary link between dinosaur and chicken that might be something a little bit surprising or interesting as this this is just a start point so you know just try it i guess is the nature of the game everyone should have a match here because everyone filled out the form there are people who fill out the form that are not with us so whatever but does everyone was everyone able to follow the article link and find this spreadsheet under articles one find their name find their pages does the game make sense of how you play it? It just uh, we cannot play any external link. Only the link under the first article, and then keep going. Second article exactly. under. Yeah. Link. Yeah. Yeah, and we're a little divided. We played the game before, and sometimes I noticed Noemi didn't click a link on a page. She like saw a word on a page and then searched it on Wikipedia. I'm like, see, Danny says, no, no I never you have did to that. click. I never did that. This is so, cheating. We'll don't give do it. it. And let's I don't give it example. Oh, look, this is <laughs> not true. We already played. Don't do <laughs> it. No, so, the one, the one part that we had, um, of, that we debate is can you go both ways? Right? Uh, do you have to go from dinosaur to chicken, or can you go from chicken to dinosaur? So let's say if chicken links egg, but egg doesn't link dinosaur, but dinosaur links egg, can you go both ways, or do you have to go one direction? I'm gonna phone a friend, Danny. What do you say? Um, since you have um, the last, have the there's lots of feedback. Um, oh, since sorry. since you have the last. Um, word or topic i think you can you can kind of think of how you connect there i normally don't go backwards but i i try to anticipate what will get me there um and plan for that um i've never i've never gone over 10 links anna to answer your question um so it's it's a fun to me it's a fun game to understand the structure of how wikipedia works in terms of categorization and, and kind of internal linking because there's just you know it's mostly all internal linking within wikipedia sorry one last clarification some words i think that's what you know Yomi might might have used some words in the wikipedia are links right so we can use them that's the yes. point you can only click on those links to but, link from page to page okay so either the words or the links under the page which is maybe the same thing so you can only uh, use words that are hyperlinked to other Wikipedia pages. So there are words in blue, mm -hmm. but you cannot use um, the external links at the bottom of the page that will bring you outside of Wikipedia. So you want to stay on Wikipedia for the duration of the game by clicking on the red on the sorry, blue words, right? So a red word is a missing link, but a blue word is is one that's not missing. So for example, here you have railway, uh, national register of historic places, like these are blue links yeah. you can click. And so what we're asking, I guess, is basically if you find your start page and you find your end page is to organize them and then click the links, probably the easiest way is to open a new tab. Yeah to get all of the intermediary pages. And once you've gotten all of your intermediary pages, it would be awesome if you could go back to the spreadsheet and you will see in the spreadsheet, we left the space for you to fill out your intermediary link. So if you started off with mineralogy, a list of quarries, and then you went to mineralogy, if you could copy that one and add it in here as your link, and then the next link and the next link and the next link until we get to the final page. Cool. There is one just other tiny topic. Some purists also say that, you know, some of it, like this category page down at the bottom, sometimes that gets greatly expanded. And there's actually like the kind of classification. I think Danny can weigh in on this. Some people 
say you're not allowed to use that because it makes it and there's already given a structure. What do you think, Danny? Outlawed? I say last resort. Okay. Oh yeah. Fine. That's Sounds good. Cool. Sounds good. So should we uh, stop presenting and let them work? So well work. Okay. Play. Yeah, sure. The, the boundaries between work and play are blurring. Oh damn. Okay, we stop presenting so you can play. Maybe just whenever you're done, uh, write us down in the chat box so that we have a sense of where we're at. Yeah, that'd be super cool. And we'll just stare at you <laughs> freaking out because it's fascinating. Yeah, I'm yeah. If you can supply one, that'd be awesome. Let's play some video game music. Yeah. Maybe some like really stressful electronic music. I don't know. Work faster type of thing would be good. I find myself using a whole lot of control F. That's allowed. <laughs> Music coming through. No music. Oh man. But what what is the the Google sheet by the way? Muted. Oh, it's if you go to the page we share, there's a link to this thing called articles. I can yeah. also just paste it in the chat here. That should be it. Alice is like already mind blown or something. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> I was like, I, I thought I was so close. I'm like, I'm on the, and then it's not there. Yeah, the dead ends. And then you like, ah, yeah, it's tough. It's tough stuff. There's actually something we should do because there's, whatever, let's try it while they're.
So guys, whenever you're done, just let us know in the chat box or just uh, screen, I won, or something like that. <laughs> Anna and Alice are getting it. I missed that. Then and the last link. What's happening? Link number seven should be the final link what, that you guys sent, or? Ideally, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, if you need, if you need more, like you know just add a column to it uh, i had to cut i had more links and i had to cut some some combined couple links in shorter i i guess I'm you had you had you end up having more than seven pages in between yeah but then yeah. i print them make a shorter links wow it's fascinating <laughs> Exactly, Seven. I traced down all of the prehistoric frog species. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats. But to be fair, I did backtrack a little bit. But then I still found the exact like the seven links, but I think it was oh my god, that was nuts. <laughs> Fun. Wow.
Paleo Batrachida, one of my favorite pages on uh, the encyclopedia. Thanks for finding it, Alice. One of the best one out there. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> There's nothing on it. Can I say I think my my link is broken? Like it's impossible to link my pages. Is this possible? It's never impossible. It just might not take you seven. Might take you more than seven. Jen, did you break Wikipedia? <laughs> I broke it. I broke it. Quickly. Congrats. Congrats. <laughs> No, it makes me think of this. Um, I forgot the name. There was this book about uh, the the theorem of uh, gosh, what's the uh, Wittgenstein of how like one thing is contained within another thing, but you cannot really move from the lower level to the higher level. I'm I'm stuck mm -hmm. in that kind of situation. Did you say that's a particular concept? That's like a... Well, yeah, I forgot what it's called. I'm going to Google it. I'm going to Wikipedia it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it reminds me of six degrees of separation, but for people or for... Um... That was the inspiration, the Kevin Bacon theory. Mm -hmm. ah, I did it at eight, not quite seven. Almost there. <laughs> yeah, should we should we be easier on the rules and expand? Yeah. Again? What yeah. do you think? We can no. add some columns. For <laughs> oh, Alice says no because she already figured it out. <laughs> I added an eighth column. Sorry, guys. Uh, oh. <laughs> I got to like an almost identical page. <laughs> <laughs> But it wasn't the page, but it was basically the same page. But like, I wow. <laughs> okay, I'm trying other ways. <laughs> there are two lists of the university's alumni. Why would they need? Oh, weird. Wait, no, it is the same thing, no? Huh? Rebecca, isn't it the same? Um. No, 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 no. Like, my last page is Fromelia Tormentile, and I got to Fromelia. <laughs> but I didn't get to Fromelia Tormentin Tormentile. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Uh. I thought I had it rough with the frogs, but you've got a species of rust fungus. Yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> So cool. I'm trying to just get to fucking strawberry from urban <laughs> farming, and I can't get to There's, like strawberries are listed, but they're not linked. Should we just go in and, and edit yeah. the Wikipedia page and help Rebecca out? <laughs> oh my god, can you please just make strawberry a link? Yeah. You just go like this, I think. No. On the organic farming site, <laughs> on the organic farming page, can you please just make strawberry a link to strawberry? Wait, oh man, I didn't even do it right. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna try to help you by. <laughs> We're gonna try. We're gonna try. I always wondered how Wikipedia controls for quality. Um, I don't know if y'all know a little bit about that. Do they have version control? Do they have moderators or something? Like a guerrilla team oh, going out there and just reading all of the Wikipedia pages, making sure things aren't all wacky. Yeah, whenever you publish something new, it kind of gets flagged for other people to check it. Oh. And usually, <gasps> if you try putting, yeah, you're welcome, Rebecca. I just like the link strawberry. <laughs> I found it, um, another way. I found it another way, but okay, wait. It's great. <laughs> sorry, I'll, yeah. I'll, sorry, so no. it's actually surprisingly efficient. Like if you do put something that's um, 
not a hundred percent I don't know like how to phrase it, but like um like that isn't contributing valuable information, it does get put down really re really quickly. Mm, wow. We don't have a second thought in our in all these new things. I mean brand new page you do is already like marked and is in draft space in order to get out of draft space. Someone has to like manually review it. There's there's all kinds of stuff going on. But there's one the the most amazing way is just that there are people who dedicate their life to this stuff. I, I gotta show you one example of it if I can find it. Where is the Otis? I'm just gonna brag I, I got it down to six links. Woo! Mine's easy I though. I, 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 think I, I had could. suburbs and then it's easy to trace the like genealogy of cities and states and school districts and things with that. Yeah, I got in six links too. I luckily been into those areas. <laughs> I don't know how you trace. It's like a random city I visit in Germany. Wuppertal. See, that's, that's exactly my problem. I My random page is uh, some small village in Iran. <laughs> uh, but there is no other page on Wikipedia that points to this village. <laughs> Oh, what then maybe Iran? then you're allowed to go the other way. Yeah, how like, can you get out of like that? Page? If Iran doesn't link to that village, if the village links to Iran, you're allowed to kind of go from the village to the Iran page. And oh, can I go back more? Yeah, I like then it said last resort. Last resort. I mean, Come if you really have an obscure village that no one mentions, then yeah. Actually, technically, I was saying you should you should kind of put yourself the mentality of going in one direction through clicks for sure and if you can go backwards with clicks i think that's fine but if you can't connect those in the one direction i'm i'm suspicious if that's completing the task no you Whoa. can but the question is can you go both directions you should be able to that's the I, well it's linked yeah but, are but you... noemi works from both ends and then tries to find the center Right? No, I work one direction, but I'm thinking if the, if for like Jan, no one, there's no page that refers to that random village. He should be able to work both directions. But is isn't that what categories is? That it tells you where it's actually linked. So categories, yeah. popular places in Suame, Sarah County. Um, yeah. That's where you can find it. So I guess I would say keep the links going in both directions <gasps> if you have there to I use the categories it. to do that. Sorry, Rebecca. I did it, and the link Ooh. that took me to the page wasn't even in the same wording. Huh? Wait, I missed it. The same what? <laughs> I missed it. So like I took I my final my final page is from Amelia Tormentelli, whatever. And on the previous page, I had to click on Familia Obtusa. And it took me, it took me to the right page. Oh, it yeah. redirected. Oh, nice. This yeah, 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 yeah. That was actually a lot of fun in a really weird way. <laughs> cool. Glad you made it. I, could I, I wanted to show Alice, if she's still with us, like one of the amazing ways that uh, Wikipedia gets cleaned up and structured. We ran this. Yeah. We ran this. Um, Noemi ran this editathon with the librarians at Otis, if College of Art and Design, and an amazing Wikipedian showed up named Penny Richards, aka User Penny Richards. This is the active. This is the event itself, but this is the activity from the event. And like the first. I don't know. You just notice it's all the same user. It's all Penny Richards. She just edits, 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 edits. And if you find her user page, it looks like this. This is her own page on Wikipedia. And it has all of these stars. That it has, is like, like Boy Scouts. Yeah, she just wow. collects <sighs> Wikipedia monuments for achieving tasks. She does these things called alphabet runs, which are crazy. They are like editing... Um, in alphabetical order over consecutive days about a specific topic. So when she met Noemi, she said, I'm doing this alphabet run 
a French female scientist. Do you know anyone with a from name? the 16th century? From the 16th century, French <laughs> female scientist from the 16th century. I found all letters, but I'm having a trouble finding a French female scientist from the 16th century whose last name starts with a X. Do you happen to know one? <laughs> <laughs> wow. So that's, that's like, that's part of oh. this is really the engine behind Wikipedia is people like this like, are really helping it out. Because they're very efficient and knowledgeable in the system. So they will pick up and clean up uh, after us. Yeah. So, so when Wikipedia is asking for donations and they have those donation drives, is does the money go to people like her? That's such a good question. I actually don't know. I do know that they they sponsor events, right? Like they'll we have gotten a grant from Wikipedia to do an edit-a-thon, and there are all kinds of other libraries, museums, things like that 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 can get money from Wikipedia. Yeah, it doesn't go directly to the editors, but it does go to people who organize editatons. So, it, you know, buying stuff, advertising, like, yeah, like snacks, things like that, uh, child care for events and yeah. that type of expenses. Okay, I'm this is incredible. <laughs> yeah. I, I was wondering if I could have some advice. I, I'm almost there, which is amazing to me. In six links, I got to carbohydrate, and the end word is carbohydrate uh, confirmation. But I don't know yeah. how to get. It's like the it's like the seventh link should be it, but it's not there, and I I don't know. I'm just amazed I got this far. It's really, it's really cool. What if we? Oh, yeah. Well, it's carbohydrate to like it's like the last link. It's so it's so close, but it's so far. carbohydrate confirmation linking to carbohydrate page because in that case you could be allowed just like Jan was allowed to go. Okay. Go for it. Okay, let me give it a try. Okay, I'm glad I asked. Okay, thanks. I'll be right back. <laughs> It's like your your technique works. I think sometimes I mean it's just easier. Like it works when you have something it's that allowed. obscure. Like you have to. Is anyone else stuck on some yeah. portion of finding links, or is everyone else getting there? If, yeah, if you guys have the links, even if you haven't finished, I'd start putting them in the in the the thing so we can see the the traces. It's quite nice to yeah, follow cool. along these. Who got shut enough, Liba? Lucy. I did. I did it in eight. It. So right now I'm trying to do it in seven. Nice. America. Oh my God. This probably means something to you. All this stuff. French. You know, my problem is that on the page for French, the language, there's no links to France. Like the word appears, but it's not linked, which is really annoying. Do you want to help? We can hyperlink it quickly. No, it's okay. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. That doesn't make any sense. Go we'll fix it. Oh, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. I instead, I went to government of France from French language, and then I could so, go to France. I don't know if this counts, but if, you, if you're if you on French language, on the right-hand side where they have kind of all yeah. the bullet points, if you open up the official status under official languages, there's a thing you can say show, and it will show the countries. There we go. Mm. I see. Sneaky, Danny. Sneaky moves that well, one. You know, Someone's I've had some experience playing this game. <laughs> you, you know, this is this is probably relevant for Lucy, but like I actually spent a long time trying to figure out whether Polga, the, the one town that we're working in, it's kind of government structure. And I was doing a lot of that on Wikipedia mm -hmm. is understanding how an unincorporated town exists within a county or city relationship. 
and it, to me wikipedia is a lot of that of of connecting let's say um let's say kind of the governmental planning or or, or kind of um um jurisdiction relationships i guess um there's always you i i mean that's how i just did this um getting from getting from suburbanization to the list of lamar university alumni um is basically through location and through structures of, of where these things are, are kind of managed. I don't know. So a school district is managed within a, a, a city, which is managed within a town, which is managed within the state, you know. My question is, who are the powers behind Wikipedia? Like, is it a bot? Is it somebody who, is it like a robot that's just been trained to accept things that are not cited? Or is there like an elite group of individuals who sit together on Sundays and like say no to edits. <laughs> it's it's Mondays actually. <laughs> it's people like uh, whatever was her name, Penny Richard. That uh, <laughs> it's the Penny Richard of this world that have. I think like also the more edits you have, the less you get immediately like flagged for checking. If that makes sense. So, for example, you need to have done a certain number of edits before you're allowed to create a page. So the newer editors, like some of you guys who created their account today, you can go ahead and create a page. That, that's not yet allowed. But if you do a lot of edits and then your stats of how they're being accepted are good, then you, are, you can create an article. And the less you're being, your edits are being put down, the less urgent you are to be checked, if that makes sense. So it's, I don't know if it's, I don't, I don't know if it's like democratic. The system. Sorry, can you say that again? Self-serving, self-perpetuating system. Is it a self-perpetuating system? Was that the question? <laughs> I don't really understand how it works. Maybe that's why I can't phrase my question. But it's peer it's peer edited essentially. So Did it's I... not that there's I mean yes, the more you I've edit. Had a pop out, um just uh her stop at ten, but thank you so much for hosting this. <laughs> I'll catch up with Thanks it. for joining okay. Alice and we'll we'll put the video on if you want to see the rest of it, the workshop. Yeah. We'll do. All right. Thank bye. you. Bye. Yeah, it's peer review, so it's not democratical in the sense that certain people get elected to have more power, but they're by default, like, due to being more active, end up, uh, yeah, be, being more, having more authority in the system, if that makes sense, mm. to to have edits, to, to correct edits. But, it, I mean, some pages are really interested, like the uh, Big Bang page is, like, kind of like a, a place of uh, like fights because you know you would have like different religious group that would de deny the you know or like what's the English word for the evolution evolutionary yeah yeah the ev what evolution like uh, yeah is one page also gets just um fought over is a battleground let's say the battleground page even more than you know train pages like we think are battleground but not as much as uh, creation of the universe is a battleground so who do you think wins the battle when, it's, when they're battling over this kind of things hope usually like uh science hopefully right but But if physically, like more editors, editors fighting editors, right? Well, that's why citation are so important, right? Because then it comes to what's the value of the source, right? What's the legi uh, legitimacy of, of, what, of the citations? Yeah, I think I would also say that no one um, wins because it's always continuing to be revised. So there are some really interesting projects like I shared the screen you could see, but these are graphs 
of a single page and how they've changed over time. And what you'll notice is like there are the colors represent sections being added or deleted. So you see things like the birth of the page, there's not that much going on, and then it starts to grow. And then there are these moments like this where there's this battle where someone says, let's delete this section. Someone adds it back in, delete, add, delete, add, delete, delete, add. And then it just keeps going and new things get introduced. And so this is happening all the time. And that whole history is stored on every Wikipedia page under the view history thing. So you can kind of see that instead of there being a, instead of Wikipedia presenting the truth or the snapshot of the truth it is instead showing this ongoing conversation in the construction about that of that knowledge so that's my answer it's like that it's really just a kind of ongoing process of shaping these things what are those graphs called um i've seen them called evolutionary history graphs or wikipedia stratigraphy graphs um this, this one is history flow is like the most well-known one by these two data visualization people. So history flow. I mean, one example that maybe oh, this will... Is, sorry. Go ahead. Just this is a really interesting example. This is a page for abortion. So Noemi was talking about pages that are hotly contested. This is called blanking. Someone went in and it's a kind of act of information terrorism. They just deleted the entire page. Right, so that's what the black bars represent is someone says this shouldn't it's be something up. yeah so it's just totally gone and then you know it gets restored because the history is there and this one seems to have been deleted for a little bit longer or even you know you see these black i don't know if there's a specific name for this thing that happens but that, that might be a section right of the article that's deleted so such as like how to access one or whatever was decided to be deleted on yeah but, I mean, one example that maybe will resonate to us as well is like, I mean, things as, um, in, you know, like as stupid as like for the longest time, uh, there was a Charles and Ray Eames page and then there was a, a Charles Eames page and a Charles and, and Ray Eames page. And they like, whenever you try to make a Ray Eames page, it would be like, no, it's not needed. There's this Charles and Ray Eames page. Now there's like all three pages, right? Charles Ray and a Charles and Ray page because basically you needed to create Charles in order to justify creating Ray and like separate pages but the initial Charles and Ray page was never put down but there's just these like yeah again like political uh debates but it it that's an example of something that actually took a while like I remember even just maybe a few years ago that it was still missing I feel like we're sure. running a little long on time. Yeah. We had the kind of idea of discussing some of the things, but it seems like we're doing that now. So we can maybe keep discussing the way people have connected the pages. We were going to play a like second round of the game, but maybe we can give that as more of a thing to do on your own. Over oh, the yeah, that's channel. true. Um, yeah, I see the time. Is that yes. cool? Yeah. So if you want to have more fun by playing more, you have another tab. Oh, are we sharing screen? Yeah, we are. So under that same uh, Google spreadsheet, under the other tab, Article 2, you have been paired with a friend. Uh, so uh, Danny, you were paired with Rebecca, Michelle with Alice, uh, Jen with Nick, and no, Jen with Anna and Lucy and Nick together, right? To basically move from your page to the other friend's page. So instead of random, we were hoping to have time to do both, but it, it's uh, more time consuming than we expected. So that's uh, more fun stuff. Yeah, I think that we'll just like do this via Discord channel or something like if you guys want to play this game later, because we thought now we would actually uh, teach you something. Yeah, you want to do that? Yeah, do you have the, the slides here? Somewhere? I don't think so. Oh, I can send you the link then. Okay. So, yeah, we'll leave the second part of the game to you. Uh, we'll move on on the course page for today for the tutorial thing. So the tutorial will just be uh, kind of how to edit Wikipedia. Uh, we have a series of slides that we will go over with you kind of step by step and then also share the link with you so that you can use this stuff on your own. And this will lead into 
the assignment for uh, either, yeah, I guess the next 24 hours or something, which is to edit a Wikipedia page. So now I'm going to open up the slides. We are, we're still sharing the screen, right? That's the real thing. Oh, no, we're not. Okay, sweet. Well, that's about to change. Okay. I think and we should make this full screen. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, this will just be a really quick tutorial. They're kind of formatted as almost like cards to see about just discrete ways to um, jump into Wikipedia and start editing. So page by page, how to join today's event. We've gone over that already. How to create an account. We've also done that again today uh, as a group. And then we have separated it. We're hoping that you guys can uh, spend some time actually editing Wikipedia um, before we meet again on Friday or whatever day you will be when we meet again uh, in whatever uh, time zone you are. Um, and we've divided instructions. So what could you do if you only have one hour uh, that you can spend before Friday? Uh, what you can do if you have two hours. Um, if you have more, what could you uh, be doing? So if you have two to four hours, you can consider creating an article. But again, that might be challenging for newer editors just uh, um, because of the way Wikipedia works, right? Um, how to edit. So. Click on the edit this page tab on the top of the Wikipedia page and then type away a short edit summary in the field box and then um, do save. So should we actually maybe demonstrate that? Yeah, we could. Where we did, I mean, we did one already, I guess, a little bit real time with the Rebecca's page about what? The what strawberries? Happened. Yeah, but we didn't go to the strawberry page. We went to, where was it? Whichever the page she was on before. This one? Uh, no. No, Discovered. go back one. This one. No, go no. back one. <laughs> that one. This that one. one. Yeah. Uh, I, this is totally not the one we changed. <laughs> <laughs> You're, wait, we went, we were on whatever this page. page yeah. This thing is, here, we'll do it again, just so we don't get kicked off from Wikipedia. Okay, sorry, we'll do a quick demonstration. So we were here. No, we weren't even here. This is crazy. No, we were on the comment. No. We were on the comment. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we were like. Oh, man. We were, were we? Well, yeah, whatever that is. We were. Aha, okay, cool. So here we go. So what we did was. Uh, we linked strawberry. Yeah, we made this link to strawberry, which I guess Rebecca found a workaround. But good demonstration of the simplest edit you can make is this is the reading version. This is what it looks like when you're logged into Wikipedia or when you're just reading Wikipedia. If you're logged in, you will see these other, you'll see this tab, the edit tab. You'll see your username here. If you're not logged in, there's a little button that says log in and you can log in. And then this edit thing will appear. Once you're logged in. Once you're logged in, you can go to any page and click on edit. And there's two different formats you can edit in. One is the visual editing style, which is, you know, this is really appearing in the same way that, almost the same way that um, when you're consuming the page and reading it. The other language is source editing. So this will actually give you this very simplified version of code. It's called Wikipedia markup. So you can type instead using little symbols and stuff. I guess if you're doing it for the first time, it's probably way easier to stick with visual editing. Yeah. Um, but either way is totally available for you to edit. And the edit we made before, this was not linked. It's just a strawberry word. Just a strawberry we, word. We linked it to the strawberry page. So on the visual editor, there's a toolbar up here. Making links is really easy. You click link. It already searches the word that you're looking for, and you choose the one that's there. It turns blue. You go, haha, cool. And then? And then you publish your changes. When you publish your changes, it will ask you what you did. Link to the page strawberry. 
And if it's, you can decide if it's a minor edit or if you self request to be uh, looked over. Yeah. So there we go. It should be edited. And when we go back to the read section, strawberry is now linked. Yeah. Do we show other type of stuff you can do? Sure. Do you want to go back to the cards or do you want to just show different edits? Uh, yeah, let's go back to the card. Okay. So um, actually, no, let's not go back to Go back into edit. Let's say you want to add that this is going to be a false edit, but it's a, it's a example. So you want to have strawberries are tasty. That's what you're adding. We won't save it because we don't want to get kicked out of Wikipedia forever. But let's say you're doing this. The next step you have to be doing is cite your uh, source for why strawberries are tasty. There's actually, um, you can do manual. I don't even know what reuse is actually. Oh, yeah. And but automatic actually doesn't work so uh, bad at all. So you could just link to the page of your book that uh, is uh, highly academic sources of strawberries being tasty. If we can find this. Very difficult, <laughs> yeah. Science. The sense of strawberry, why they taste so good. Oh, this seems like go. a good one. Eureka, I never heard of oh, no. So you could link that inside your page that way. Let's see if it will create a citation for you. Yeah, it does. Fantastic. So it makes a citation for you, and you can insert it. It will then appear as a footnote and down at the bottom under references. Yeah, so that just happens automatically, right? It uh, is linked in the uh, in the last part of your uh, article, the references. You could also decide that you want to add a paragraph um, using bullet points, like structure it. I don't know, like it's a fungus of strawberries. So maybe, I don't know, you have a paragraph on, I would have no idea. That's just too obscure to me, but on um, like how the fungus is, uh, being pathogen and then where it's the history of the fungus or something like that could be different uh, uh, tabs. Uh, same for, so same for here, like paragraph or sorry, paragraph are your subheadings. And then this is um, your bullet points. Let's go back to the cards, uh, how to experiment. There is the uh, sandbox that allow you to uh, kind of work and then see if you're unsure before you publish. And let's see if we, oops, where were we? Yeah. So. So your sandbox is here, which is just a, you know, a place to play on your own. So you can, if you're making a brand new page or making a new section, you can actually just test it all out here. That way you can make sure the formatting is all correct. And then you can copy all of it and bring it to the page that you want to work on. If you're creating a brand new page, drafting it, this is a really great place to do that. Yeah, you can also save a draft, right? Even as a new editor, you can't publish an article, but you can write a full article and save it as a draft and hope that um, a more advanced Wikipedia editor will come and pick up on uh, your work and publish it. How to check a discussion. Uh, so there is a, a tab of a talk page in your pages. I'm sure the one on whatever it was, the mushroom fungus is probably not very active, but I mean, yeah, I think there's a, I think there's a, the history page, but like we have a top page. Oh, yeah, here. Uh, yeah, there's some mushroom heads that care, I guess. Okay. So, External link modified. So this page is just associated with each article and it allows for people to have a kind of discussion here if 
you know, this is like something people use to have those kind of debates and discussions about what is appropriate for the page or how is it structured or should there be any changes. So you can have that kind of discussion here. You have your own talk page for yourself too. Like as a user, your page is there, but there's also a talk page just for you and you can kind of design that however you want. If you don't design it or just over time, Wikipedia or any organizations that notice the things you're editing, they might start populating your talk page, you know, initiating a conversation with you. So we frequently get things here from Women in Red, which is like the big campaign to increase uh, rep female representation on Wikipedia. We get like these announcements every March that come up to our talk page. But yeah, so there's one for you and there's one for well. Yeah, how to cite? We already showed that. Use the cite button. Ooh, what happened? Okay. Uh, how to create an article? So you have to be over three days old, right? And 10 edits, but you can still create draft if you are new to Wikipedia. I think everyone is, so maybe we can go over that quite fast. How to add images? First part, make sure that the image is free of rights, but if you took it, you have the rights. So you can renounce all of your rights and upload an image of your own to the Wikimedia Commons. Um, so it's under the upload tab and then you select a file from your computer uh, and you caption it. Could we try showing that? No, where were we? Uh, no, oh no, I won't go back to the article. So edit. Is it under insert? Yeah, so image or media, and then you have to have it uploaded in Wikimedia, if I remember correctly, first, so that you can link it, right? But you can also, if you wanted to add images that are not yours, but that are things that are already in Wikimedia, Wikimedia, you can find them here, right? So there's a search feature that's built in. So if you wanted to add a picture of Rust and or you search for Rust, you click it, you use the, the image. And that one is already in the Wikimedia bank, if that makes sense. So we show how to upload an image to, no, okay. I mean, oops, a lot of it is, um, a lot of it is very easy to find on the internet if you're having a, uh, a problem like a lot of the how to do it is very easily accessible how to contribute a draft so um go to the search page click advance and check off draft to uh, search for draft and once you found a draft a draft click on edit another way to find draft is oh my god i'm having such trouble this mm -hmm. another way to find draft is to be looking for red links um, what would be a page that has red links? Mm. Sometimes lists have red links or maybe if we look, did you guys have in your assigned page something that had a red link in it? Like maybe Organic farming, back to organic I farming. Just, I just put a, an article that I was looking at, and there's a there's a red link somewhere in there. It's like connecting to oh, a yeah. Cool. Breakthrough National Center for Climate Restoration is, is red. Amazing. Eco-anxiety, cool. There you go. So whenever there's a blue link, it's linking to another P page whenever there's a red link it means that um that but by default there's like a um, draft page right that you can edit and save as a draft another thing that i think is really cool to do is have put red links inside wikipedia so especially for things that you think are lacking visibility so back to the example brendan was uh, speaking about women in red in red is because the um, it's a campaign to just place well not just but place a lot of red links on name of women that are existing 
that are already in an article and hyperlink them to a broken hyperlink and then it appears as red just like we saw and then it's creating the opportunity to create a page right so it's kind of creating a to-do list for the rest of the editors almost right saying like that's something that um, needs to be uh, done so I'm sure like all these words probably already have page or are too short. It's maybe not the best example, um, but what could we look? Oh, you're good. Yeah? yeah, it's understood. Yeah. Are we running out of time probably <laughs> as well, right? Okay. Yes, we are. So when okay. you, one small question. Uh, so grading red link is just the same as grading not red link, but just giving like a, random link like xxx totally it's the same process to create it it will just go to a page that doesn't have a link already right and so it's kind of saying it's inviting someone to create the page so i'm sure species if we go to link it mm -hmm. that there's a page for it already but there may not be a i don't know which Word That's here. a bad one. <laughs> yeah, like, like the have probably has a but wicked i'm sure page. like Tom and Talia doesn't have a page yeah maybe we can work. and you click generate and then it becomes red right yeah yeah so there and so it became red because it didn't have its own link but if this is now there you click it it will open up a kind of yeah. draft space for that page and someone could start to create it. so now you have this draft of that word that you can edit yeah or that you well so it says create instead of edit because it's missing yep. right on the top tab yeah okay last thing to create list if you're not individual editor you can use a uh, little asterisk stars like this but uh let's make sure we share this document with you guys inside the chat if i can find it stop screen sharing No, it's hmm. everyone can be can see it. Okay. Um, so you have this link here. We can also share it in the Slack. That's not Slack. Thank you. And we can share it in Discord as well. And maybe we should ask you if you have any questions, and then yeah, I mean, just the thought is that now the. Everyone will kind of like start to engage with Wikipedia. We'll find either the page that was assigned to them and make some edits to it, or find some intermediary page that they've done through the game and actually start to make some edits there as the homework assignment, right? So if you start to make some edits, add things, link things, add citations, that's all cool, that's all well. And there's no like, period of time or certain character count that we're looking for, really whatever inspires you to edit, go for it. Uh, when we meet up next time, what we will see is we'll actually have a list of all of the articles that you've chosen to edit and how many words you've added or how many references you've added. We'll take a look at that, we'll talk about it, and we'll actually go through and try to kind of build on this conversation about what is the shape and structure of information on Wikipedia and what is the shape and structure of the edits that we've made. How can we start to visualize them? So yeah, again, the homework assignment is to like kind of gear us up for the thing we'll do in the next session. Yeah, so basically if you can take a little bit of time before next time we meet to add your hyperlink or add a sentence and a citation uh, or and do my, yeah, some, some little edits so that on Friday, um, yeah, we, we, we have uh, better stats than we do right now, hopefully. <laughs> and if you, I uh, want to um, reach out in the Discord channel with questions. We'll keep an eye out. Yeah. As well. How, uh, how do you record the articles or the edits on this project page on the so dashboard? We have everyone, as long as you are signed up as an editor and you are logged in when you're making your Wikipedia edits, we set your activity on Wikipedia for the entire month of August. Um, in terms of the contributions to make, you know, we won't see what you're looking at, but we will see what you are, are editing. I don't know if we can actually, s I think we can even see down to the words that you do add, but we definitely can see the articles and number of characters you've added. So that stuff will all just start to populate here.
we can show you an example of what that would look like you know as we start to go through this process this one we had 50 people editing so it'll look slightly different but the data that we will be able to gather will be something like this right the page that you started to edit how many words you added where the references are and then this is a kind of cool thing um how many times was the article viewed over time the one that you've contributed to we can see this under articles and then we can also click over and this dashboard will tell us which whichever editor was making those edits and give us a, a summary of what those things were so yeah it should all just be running in the background you don't have to do anything else as long as you've registered for the page that all of that data should be captured and stored already yeah we will um take credit over your contribution for the rest of the month. <laughs> we will compile it. Yeah. Do you guys have any questions? Couple questions. Uh, yeah. that's, uh, yes. How do we relate to this theme, common monuments? Yeah, we just were thinking that basically the common monuments are this initial list we gave you. It's probably a little confusing because we also gave you something random, but we thought that like, you know, there were this, the kind of starting origin articles were all of these um, spatial and architectural things that were somehow meaningful, right? They were derived from your survey. So the things like the pews and the trees and the gifts and the bedrooms, like those were the monuments that we think are kind of on people's minds and in people's uh, sphere of experience right now. And so we think that it if those are the pages that you start to edit, that'd be great. And that's already starting to address a common monuments theme. If you start to move further away from that, we also kind of think that that might show some of the significance of these things, right? So like if, if Rebecca's trees are actually linked, you know, to the top edge of the atmosphere or whatever links she, <laughs> she ended up <laughs> finding, we kind of already start to see like the connection between the micro and the macro scale. And we'll, we can talk more about how that really plays out once we see the edits that everyone's making. But that's really our hope is that there is this kind of emergence of all of the quotidian things and we see it actually having this kind of global interconnection that there really is something significant about all of these small slices of life that, that were giving in the initial page yeah makes sense thank you and uh, another yeah. t just a technical question like um the legitimacy of the articles mm. and how many links approximately should be in the paragraph is it like at least one link per paragraph that um... yeah 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 just just cite your sources for sure if there's if you're doing a full paragraph and it really is drawing heavily on one um, source only, then just cite it at the end of the paragraph. If you're constructing a paragraph and you know each sentence is coming from a different source, then then footnote it and cite it as is appropriate. The there are rules for what kind of sources to use, but they aren't as like strictly academical as you might um, at first assume. So they they're like I don't there's I don't have the best way to phrase it, but it is like. Like newspapers article are totally fine. Let's say you're writing, I'm just using an example, like you're writing an article about uh, an architect, you can cite their website, mm -hmm. but um, you shouldn't create an entire article only citing their website, yeah, that's, right? That's so thing. you can create a paragraph and then it says this building was built that year, cite the website. But in your paragraph, hopefully you're also citing an article from a newspaper that says this building was built, right? So it's kind of like, you, it's very much, there's no strict rule and you very much have to use your judgment because you will only be judged by people using their judgment, if that makes sense, yeah. right? So, I think it's really a question of relevance more than it is a question, like when you're writing a paper for school, it's often of like the credibility of the publisher, of credentials, right? And Wikipedia is like different. There's you'll see that there are footnotes to like timemagazine.com and there's footnotes to like GeoCities archive pages from the Wayback Machine that like literally only a hundred people have ever seen. But these things fly if they're really relevant to the topic um, that's there. And if nothing else is better is available, yeah, right? Exactly. So if you're writing an article on uh, whatever biology something and you cite that small town random newspaper, it's likely to be put down. But if you're writing on someone's that's still fairly obscure, 
and that the best source is the the only source is the local newspaper, then that's totally legit, right? Yeah. That's valid. Um, obviously, if you're any, that's kind of important, any language that is praising will be put down, right? Or any language that's uh, the opposite, denigrating is also going to be put down. So any things, strawberries are tasty might have is a good example right wouldn't make the cut right or this uh uh architect is incredibly talented is also a good example or is a is a mediocre uh, uh untalented architect those things don't make the cut or get put down actually yeah any other questions Um, so one of the things I found most interesting about my seven seven steps exercise was that the link that I finally clicked on um, did not align with the the title of the article that it took me to. So can you correct links? So if links are maybe A different Latin name for the same thing. Can can you can it change the wording for that link? So you could go back to the article that had the link to your page, and then edit the article to actually use the same term as the one of your page. That you could totally do that. Usually, I mean, obviously, I don't know anything about like fungus that attacks strawberries, mm -hmm. but usually, when there's a redirect link, it's still kind of the same thing. If that makes sense, right? Right? Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's also like language things as well, right? So sometimes mm -hmm. like maybe I'll use a term italicized in a language and then it will redirect you to a different language, but same term, but all under the English Wikipedia. Um, but yeah, for things like that, usually. But So it should be a synonym, basically. Cool. If it's a, f I mean, I don't know that you know more than I do about strawberry fungus, but if it's <laughs> actually redirecting you incorrectly, you could totally fix that. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Guys, any other questions? I guess we're going to operate as editors. We're yeah. not going to screw up the whole thing. I'm going to screw up myself as no. an editor, but not the whole round uh, house platform. <laughs> People are very tolerant of new editors. So again, you really can't break Wikipedia, so you should experiment. And not only people are like tolerant, but also like good willing. So when we first started, some people would see that we were like full of good intention and come after us and like clean up what the mess we've done by citing or more providing more citations or so. Uh, you know, worst case scenario, no one will come to your rescue. Best case scenario, someone will come to your rescue or but the yeah there's you don't have to be worried at all like you should experiment do your best and yeah i mean that's part of the conversation we want to have on friday right is like what actually stands up what doesn't stand up maybe some things will slip through and it like not be totally up to snuff but it's on a page that someone doesn't really care about and other things i think we'll find surprising results like you'll have totally credentialed sources you'll put them on a well-viewed page and someone will start a fight with you if that kind of stuff happens that's something we definitely want to talk about on friday so we're kind of looking forward to see what contentions about information already start to arise yeah what happens if, if i need, if i make a page about myself oh yeah it'll yeah don't do it you, you know look uh we've done the editathons at architecture schools and there is always at least one professor who comes in and it's either makes the page themselves. Yeah, yeah. So we organized those <laughs> no. feminist editathon to improve the content <laughs> on women architect on the encyclopedia. And every single time you have a male architect who's like, what an amazing opportunity to create a page about myself. Yeah, they, we like, won't names. they find out very quickly, you know, like, well, I have to make 10 edits to other pages before before I can create a page. So they'll go to the architecture school they teach at and add themselves to it and remove it 10 times. So that then they make their own page. I don't know, seems like a small thing to do if you're a graduate director of a architecture school, but whatever, they all have the same idea. 
blah, blah, blah. This happens, and then they're happy, and then their page gets afterwards. I mean, nominated I'm not going to say anything, but I I noticed you guys added an entry on Dora Epstein Jones, which I found interesting. That is totally I mean, true. Female architect, Dora was not, in the I'm room. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Your director. Yeah. And I'm not going to. But that was actually created by other members of the editon. Technically, that's kind of a gray zone, right? So, <laughs> Danny, I'm, you I'm cannot joking. create I'm a joking. page. You cannot create a page on yourself. Technically. Like you shouldn't create a page on uh, Rebecca either, for example, but it's less likely to be put down because they might not know you know each other, right? So just for an example. But yeah, don't you're not supposed to create pages about people you know. But sorry, sorry, John. Pages is hard. I'm gonna warn everyone now. This is my this is my sign off. Is creating pages is the least rewarding thing to do because you'll go through and you'll do it, and no matter how good it is, it has to go to like a super nerd Wikipedian and they will absolutely tell you it's not good enough and they'll put it in draft space. And this is where you think like, oh, that's cool. That's nice of them. I'll just fix it up. And the second time they review it, it will take them three months and they will decide without like contacting you whether they should delete your page or just keep it in drafts, at which point an even smarter Wikipedian will come and add one link and then the page will be approved and they'll be like, yes, I'm amazing. I've created a brand new Wikipedia page. It happens also every time we've done a Wikipedia edit-a-thon. I limit myself to only ever creating one page because this is the normal script of how these things play out. And it's really unsatisfying. So I hope you uh, find some joy in not creating a page either for yourself uh, or anything else, but maybe just editing the things that are already there. But if you feel like it, go for it. Make your own page. Go for each other. Team up. <laughs> Um, yeah, any other questions, guys? Cool. Well, really um, nice to touch on um, everyone. Oh, yeah, sorry, go ahead. Uh, not really a question, but just a couple of points. Sorry, there's an insane amount of feedback when I speak, um, at least on my end. Um, I think one point is, you know, it's, I think Wiki, Wikipedia editing, um, it's not necessarily seen as a, a particular tool that people can visually grasp how it works, understand. And I think that's unfortunate because, you know, I think what we're learning right now is a very valuable tool in some way. Um, you know, and I'm just curious how we can talk about forms of documentation part of this process. You know, our first workshop, we were using OBS and I'm, I'm just thinking, I'll just record my, my process of editing. But also, as you said, um, like those, the charts that you showed, I think those are quite fascinating and the view history, like all those aspects of, of how this becomes something that is a bit more, I mean, cause our, our eyes sort of demand grabbing things and that's, you know, that's part unfortunate, but also part reality. Um, so just wonder how we can think about that as we're going through this process, um, how we want to document it for ourselves and kind of record this. Um, yeah. And the other part is just you know, make this as self-serving, maybe not as self-serving as what John wants, but as self-serving as as possible. So if you're if you have a research topic that you're working on, or if you have a passion project, or if you have something from the lab that you're working on that you're interested in, um, you know, use that as motivation. That's all. Yeah, totally. Great points. And we promise we will, if you have thoughts about how to record this process, just go for it. If you know OBS, if you want to do screen captures, if you want to like create a Google document that is paralleling all of your edits and all of the mistakes and all that stuff, whatever you want to do, absolutely go over it. We'll design another kind of game exercise for Friday and help do some of that visualization process all together, teach a few simple rudimentary techniques. And then, yes, we should have underscored this earlier, but any great point, uh, absolutely work in line with your interests. We've assigned you one that we think fits a little bit with your interest, but of course, you know better what you're interested in. And so go for it. The whole world ideally is uh, up there on Wikipedia and, and I'm sure everyone has something valuable to add to it or can find something valuable to add to it. So do it in a way that's fun, exciting and, yeah, serves your interest for sure. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks again, everyone. It was really, yeah, good touching base with everyone, seeing where your survey responses took us and where the game took us. We're looking forward to doing Friday as well.
Yeah. Feel free to reach out uh, in the meantime if you have questions. But hopefully we'll have a little bit more populated that Friday and then we can uh, work with your edits and think about visualizing them as well. Yep. Thanks a lot, guys. See you soon. Thank you, guys. See you Friday. Yeah. See you, see you. Bye-bye. Take care. Be well. Bye.